Hi everyone, it's Lauren Gates here again with a new open source pro tips. Okay, let's walk through the setup of a custom dial prefix. A, a custom dial prefix is used in cases where you want to prefix, usually an extension number, uh, in order to cause some different behavior. So you can dial the extension number directly or you can dial the extension number with a dial prefix in front of it and do things like reach the extension voicemail or do an intercom. If you want to inter auto answer and intercom the extension, you dial the intercom prefix, that sort of thing. That's what we're talking about here. It is not easy to do in the GUI, but it is fairly straightforward if you're using custom dial plan. There was a case in the free PBX community forum going back about a year where the user posted for advice on how to set up a ring group, a cascading ring group. They wanted a couple users, a couple uh, local extensions to ring for one or two rings. Then they wanted additional extensions to start ringing with the original two. And I believe in that case, they also wanted uh, to cascade to a further group of extensions with an even larger number of ringing local extensions. Anyone who's set that up in the GUI knows that it's not difficult to do. You can set up a ring group, set it to ring for 10 seconds and cascade to a second ring group, which contains the original extensions as well as some additional other ones. There is a minor problem with the GUI configuration for this setup, and that is during the transition from the first to the second ring group, during that cascade, there is a brief interval where no extensions are ringing. And if your if phone users happen to answer the phone during that brief cutover, then uh, the call doesn't get answered. So it can create a little bit of uh, confusion or minor annoyance with your users, and this particular user wanted to avoid that step. After some ideas were bounced back and forth in the thread, we eventually uh, arrived at a small block of dial plan that allowed you to dial direct to an extension with a prefix. And the prefix had a numeric component to it that indicated how many seconds you wanted to wait. So you could set up a ring group where it rang the first two extensions immediately, and the second group of extensions were defined in the ring group with the dial prefix uh, indicating a delay. And so let's take a look at how that would work now. We start by browsing to config edit. Uh, we select extensions underscore custom conf. We'll see here there's some framework that I had developed earlier. Let's move that up near the top of the file. And we'll take a look at how this works. First thing we see is we're in the from hyphen internal hyphen cons a custom context. Uh, this is deliberate. This is the context that is reserved for users to put their own dial plan that is reachable from the from internal context. That is that it's reachable from your local extensions. This is not an option. This is not a case where you can choose an arbitrary uh, a context name and reference it externally as we've done previously. We must use from internal custom for this use case. The next thing we see is a rather complex extension as part of the dial plan lines. And this extension is deliberately complex because a generic or a very generalized uh, dial pattern or a dial string here has the potential of interfering with extension numbers and all and dial strings already generated by free PPX. So in this specific case, we are expecting the user to dial two asterisks, three digits, another asterisk, and four digits. And so this is a sequence of digits that will have no other use case on the on the PBX. The three digits is the number of delays, uh, the amount of delay in seconds uh, with a preceding zero or two zeros in the case where you want a small number of seconds. And the final four digits is the extension number. This specific system has uh, extensions, extension numbers in the four digit range. If you had extension lengths that varied, you would have a slightly more complicated dial plan here to indicate how those were configured. 
first priority is an OOP line indicating we're in user defined dial plan and what context where it's located. The second line is a debug line. It's a no op line which echoes the extension number and so the extension are the final four characters in the dial string. These final four characters here indicated by the X's and the delay are, is this expression here. Ignore the first two characters, take the next three and that corresponds to the three digits here. The next line is a simple wait application. We have already defined our delay as these three characters, so we're going to wait for these three characters. After that wait expires, we go to from internal, the extension number, uh, which we've defined as the final four characters in the string, priority one, and we're done, we're finished. We hit save. and we hit apply config. And we can go over to the asterisk console. We'll open up with verbosity. And while we're waiting for that reload to finish, we can test it. So I have a desk phone here. I am going to put in a feet. I'm going to dial star star with a delay of 015 for 15 seconds star and I'm going to go to 6015. So I hit dial and there it is there. It's in the middle of the wait right now. I'm going to hit end call so nothing scrolls off. But here's what we're working with here. So there is the debug from this call. Here's what I dialed, star star 015, star 6015. Here's my debug line indicating that I'm dialing extension 6015 with a delay of 015 seconds. Here is the wait line. And then there's nothing more because I hung up the call prior to that wait expiring because I know that the go-to line is going to generate a very verbose output and my, my console will scroll off. And that's all there is to it.